Christina here in the Emerald Cafe, and thanks for joining me today. Uh, it has been a week, a tough week for me, and I'm happy to be here with you now. Uh, you know, in all of our journeys in life, there comes up roadblocks. I don't know what we're going on our path, we're, we're feeling good about the road we're on, we're walking towards our goals, and boom, out of nowhere, roadblock. Can't go above it, can't go underneath it, not around it or through it. You are at an impasse. I know you can relate to this right now, or something that has happened in your not-too-distant past. Well, I went through that this week, and um, it feels like how it used to feel when I was in a healing crisis, that emotional component where I start to get down on myself and, um, you know, losing confidence in what I'm doing. And, and it's okay, and I, I know this is the cycle of how things go, roadblock, disappointment, I'm going to get down. Can you relate to that? Raise your hand if you can. <laughs> um, I can. So I know this is a pattern. This, I believe, is human nature pattern. The difference is how long are you going to stay down about it? And then where do those negative emotions take you with your actions? What do I mean by that? Well, we all have certain ways to comfort ourselves. So if we're feeling down and depressed, um, maybe we go to a certain food that we know we shouldn't, pizza, ice cream, uh, alcohol, whatever it is, and consume it, then we're feeling worse physically, which then affects our mental state. So it's a, see, there's a spiral here. We can either spiral down or spiral up. Getting back to my story of this week, um, I've been dancing again, and I've been a dancer for most of my life, and as I've been getting very well, I like to be physical, and I'm not sure how it happened or exactly what happened, because it happened really quick, but I had an injury in my lower back and in my hip, which kind of put me out of the game again, not kind of, it put me out of the game again, and there's this disappointment of being on this trajectory path of you're improving, you're improving, and all of a sudden you're out of the game. So that's what happened to me, and I started getting down about it, and, and you know, realizing that this is the cycle of getting down, and getting depressed, but then what's going to happen after that? What happened for me is, I'm not going to stay in that, that down mode. I'm going to allow myself to have it for a little bit of time and say, sure, it's a disappointment. Sure, I'm starting at square one. It's a bummer. Period. Now, now what? Stay in Bummerville? Hell no. I still am going to Wellville. I plan on going to a new territory of Wellville that I've never been to before. This has been my healing path the whole time. A few steps forward, a couple steps backward, a few steps forward, oops, I fell into a ditch, I'm on a detour. This has been my healing path. Maybe it's yours too, so I know this is the way it goes. It's rarely in anything, it's a straight linear path and you never deviate from that path. So, I accepted this and currently I'm still down. Apparently my hip and low back still need to um, recover from this injury. I plan on getting body work and getting some help and resting while I continue the fruits, vegetables, and herbs. So I'm not going to go from I fell off to now I'm in a really bad place by, by getting into a negative spiral and doing things that won't help me. I gotta veer back to what I know is the right path. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get back on. As soon as I'm able, I'll start dancing again. And for all I know, it'll be sooner than I think. So I wanted to talk about this a little bit today. It's what I've been going through. It has been a, a hard time, and though I haven't recovered, I know that I will. And 
in time and this is also the time to listen to my body not push too hard I don't know about you I have a tendency to go where angels fear to tread just keep going because I want it so much and initially or years ago that mentality has not served me well it's a lesson for me of moderation temperance know where to draw the line sometimes it's difficult to know where to draw the line even for myself especially when I'm doing something I love and I'm experiencing so much joy I'm almost really out of my body until something happens that pulls me back down in my body and saying uh oh guess what Athena <laughs> you've gone too far and now you have to pay attention to this so I know you can relate to this if you can't relate to it via dance you can relate to it taking your herbs and being on a detox diet you can relate to it doing anything in your life this same lesson comes up and then the same invitation of okay what are you going to do about it are you going to keep going do you believe do you want it that much and will you honor yourself to do the right thing being patient. I have to be patient and kind to myself while I'm resting and recovering and regenerating this injury. And I intend to be. And that's how I got to this point in Well Well to begin with. I didn't give up. And neither should you. I took care of myself. I'm not saying I did everything um, just right on schedule, but for the most part I brought myself back in again didn't go off the deep end for years, never to return. I brought myself back in and that's what I plan on doing again. So you're not alone and I share the same things that you share in your life and the same challenges, the same triumphs, the same obstacles, and the same fear and disappointments. And here we're all in this together in our community and we share this and we know that I would love to hear your stories and any input you have on what you've gone through that's similar and um, how you're doing today and how you plan on a if you're in a place where you're you don't feel proud of it right now and you don't want to talk about it that I completely understand that maybe you want to share how you plan on getting on the right on a better path for yourself and what would what are the things that you could do that could make you feel better about the path you're on so these are just a few things to think about and I hope that you all are doing well on your journey to Wellville and pursuing all the things in life that bring you joy and happiness until we meet again next time here at the Emerald Cafe thank you so much for joining me and I will see you soon